doing the cleanup for the fall. Part of the fall cleanup is this tree is coming down. So we're going to be putting in our garden over here in this area. Used to be the dog run area. And we decided we're going to fill this all in with garden. We have the garden behind our shop building here. And uh, here in Idaho, it gets pretty dang hot. In this area back behind the shop, the sun basically comes from this across this direction here. And this area back in here just gets blistering hot. And the garden hasn't been doing well back here. This whole side of the building just turns the whole area into an inferno. Uh, I mean, we got a few tomatoes and a few cucumbers and peppers were so-so. The only thing that's done well is the strawberries, actually. But uh, this is all going to get moved. And I get to reclaim this for a camp trailer. It's because we actually had a water hookup back in here somewhere. You can see the drain for a uh, sewer. So you got a full hookup back in here along with electricity, which is right there. Yeah, so camp trailer is going to go back in here again eventually. So got to get the tree gone first, and then all these planter boxes are going to move. And she wants that shed moved too. We'll see about that. That would be a monumental job. I think I would have to dismantle it to move it. Anyway, this might take quite a while to get done, but for now, the tree comes down. Let's start with a haircut. Leastwise, the stuff I can reach with uh, just a extension pole chainsaw.
That's for a fact. That's that 3D stuff. Power chainsaws, you still want to use your bar and chain oil. Keep that chain lubricated. Help it from dolling so fast.
down first. So just, just hold tight.
Time to survey the damage. So yesterday the tree came down. Today we're gonna to try to start cleaning all this up. I'm not feeling very well today, so we'll see how far we get. I gotta at least get that pile there cleaned up so I can use the gate because our trash cans are right there. I need to be able to get them out to the street. Uh, but today's Friday, so I got time. That big beast right there, I'm probably gonna have a hard time cutting it with the chainsaw I have, because it's just a little electric job. Here in the middle will be okay. It's this bigger part down here on the end. The guy offered to cut it up a little bit more, but I told him it was okay. Maybe it's an excuse to buy another chainsaw. Yeah. Anyways, pretty big pile. Guys did a great job taking it down for us. I'll uh, leave uh, their business name in the comments, but they're a local Boise company, Boise Tree they're called. So give them a call, fair pricing. They did most of this in about three hours. The stump grinding took a little longer just because they had equipment problems. Uh, so another guy brought a secondary stump grinder and finished her off, so that looks good. Anyways, I may not record a whole bunch of this because it's just cleaning up work, but we'll try to get you some footage.
I was able to get the pile that was all along the fence there and blocking the gate that gone. And uh, a little bit of this right in this area. Got a couple pieces out of here and then just uh, ran out of gas. Physically, not actual fuel. Just uh, body's not feeling very well today. So it's a beautiful day though. Would have been nice to get more done, but still got a lot to do. Well, there's what I got done this weekend. Pretty big pile of mulch, I'd say. And uh, today I pretty much took out a big chunk of this pile here, but you can see it's probably still two more days worth of chipping to get all that gone. And I say days, we're talking, you know, maybe four hours out of whack at the most. Don't want to overdo it too much. Because I haven't been feeling too well. My back isn't doing very good, but, you know, we'll just keep going the best we can. Some of the larger stuff that the chipper won't handle, I'll cut that into fire logs. But as you recall, this was a big pile here that I took out, and then I got this pile gone. I pretty much did that yesterday, and then did that pile yes or today. And that was, you know, as high as that, all the way the length of the pool deck. So, yeah. Got a fair amount done. This will all be cut into firewood. Although the missus says she wants to see me cut some kind of chairs, benches, seats out of it. We'll see. Got another pretty big hunk of log back in here. That thing's about 10 feet long. And uh, over a foot in diameter most of the way of it. So... And there's another big log right there. Another 10 foot log there, so. Anyways, yeah, a lot of trimming. There's another big log right back there. It's about a foot in diameter and over 10 feet long. This was a really big tree. It was every bit of 60 feet tall, so. Anyways, that's the update for today. Probably won't do much during the work week, but next weekend we'll be back at it if it ain't raining.
And I started right about here. So all that back into that corner. Took the pile down some and got rid of a bunch over there. Pretty good. Chopped up some big logs. Made this pile with some of the limbs. Some of the smaller, well, medium size from the center sections going up the tree. Probably doubled that pile over there. They actually probably tripled it. So, yeah, good day. So I got that big pile of leaves to deal with. That, that should be a good amount of mulch for this area. Can take all this grass out. Yep. Yep, added to that pile today, and all the big brush piles gone. All we got left is leaves and twigs, so that's all just going to mostly go in the trash. I could mulch some of it up, but I'm getting too much loose stuff that I'm going to build a shed back in here, so can't have too much left loose stuff for the foundation to sit on. So most of that's going to get picked up. Uh, this pile got pretty big. Some of the larger branches got cut into that. Along with that, there's another small pile right there. Then we got some more branches I got to cut down still there. <coughs> Excuse me. Sycamore. Ugh. A bit allergic. Mulch pile got huge. I think this leaf pile is just going to go in the trash. And then again, back to that. So I don't know if I'm going to still get to this tomorrow, but it's New Year's Day tomorrow. But pretty good for now. That's going to be a bench or something. I'm going to cut it into boards or some sort of outdoor bench. Got some nice logs back in here. I'm going to try to cut those into boards. And then probably this one I'm going to try to cut into boards also. And uh, make some benches for some really thick, something, some like 4 by or even 6 by uh, bench. So that would be kind of neat. Uh, table rounds, that's what I'm thinking for those. And you can see there, kind of the idea. Make some tables out of a... An old split piece of the tree where it wise out and then the table round. Yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs>